the do not your poos i'm here back with another video and as you guys can tell by the title i'm going to be doing a story time all the time i peed on myself in class hey it's anaya i'm on fire love the life eating this fire i'm on the road i gotta go i gotta drop these videos very goofy never boozy mostly classy i can stoop i love my haters cause i'm still dropping bangers yeah it's Anaya, yeah, yeah, it's Anaya, whoa I stay up 24, 7 doing videos It's Anaya, yeah, yeah, it's Anaya, whoa Y'all like, comment, subscribe, enjoy my video Very embarrassing, something I never shared with you guys Now also, this is the first time I'm ever doing Chipotle on my channel So what I got from Chipotle was a burrito and a drink I wasn't really all that hungry And my mom got some queso and chips But she said she'll show me and guess what she doing she downstairs doing a lot so i can't get none right now to show y'all me eating them but at least y'all gonna get some action of me eating the burrito but before i get too much into this video please do not forget to like comment and subscribe subscribe hit that bell to be notified whenever i post another video and also do not forget to check out all my social medias which will be listed right here yeah you see them loud and clear go check out my social medias and if you have already checked them out go like all my recent stuff so um i had a little photo shoot today period period that's why i look a little cute my edges not well they messed up but you know we just gonna get right into it so my mother apparently doesn't remember what she did with my straw so i had to get a straw from the kitchen ghetto right real ghetto real ghetto these lashes long i already know i'm not gonna fly though i'm not gonna fly away Chick-fil-A Sprite behind there. I meant Chick-fil-A Sprite is like behind McDonald's Sprite. It's given. So they didn't give me no type of sauce. With Chick-fil-A now, you have to order on the app and then you gotta go pick it up. Ghetto. But this is my butterito. My burrito. I had to unravel it to make sure everything was right in it. And then I had to fold it back. And y'all know because of Taco Bell, I know how to fold burritos. So I was glad I was able to know how to fold it back. So there go my burrito. Then I got some napkins. And like I already said, I'm drinking on Sprite. We're going to just get right into this story time and say grace. So, <clears throat> dear Lord, I want to thank you for this food. I hope it's nourishment to my body and I enjoy this food. And Jesus, name I pray. Amen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make sure y'all always pray about food. Mmm. By the way, my drink and my meal came up to eleven sixty. And my burrito. Oh, should I do another thumbnail? So in my burrito, I got rice, lettuce, chicken, steak, and black beans. This is not as good as I remember Chipotle being. I have not had it in years. But it's not. It, it, look, it's, it needs something. Like some salsa. It's dry. It's definitely giving dry. I know y'all like, girl, we want to hear the story time, babes. Wait. I'm hungry. I only ate chips today. And it's 8.30. All I had was a couple of chips. And that wasn't even... Them chips wasn't given. They were the puffs, the Cheeto puff things. But let me tell y'all, because I know y'all ready to hear. When YouTubers, when I be watching YouTube videos and they're not getting them today's story time, they just be yapping. I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'll be skipping. But don't skip me, please. Don't skip me. I'm hungry.
Okay. Had to move the camera a little bit. I can't stop eating. This burrito was like nine dollars by itself. The burrito, but it's worth it. <clears throat> story time, story time, story time. So, I'm in the third grade, I'm in the third grade, and if you know me, when I have to pee, I have to pee to this day. When I have to pee, if I'm in class and they tell me I can't go, I will walk out of that classroom respectfully, I will walk out because. I when I have to pee I have to go so when I was like I want to say I was like five years old we was in the car on the way from out of town going back to my house and was in the car driving or whatever I really had to pee and my mom was like Naya you better hold it stuff like that I peed right in that car I peed and I went to sleep and then when we woke up she was like did you pee I act like I didn't know I was like you know act like I didn't know I peed I peed so embarrassing but i did because i had to go and i could not hold it and i remember my brother he felt he kept putting his hand next to me feeling and i kept like moving his hand so he wouldn't feel the pee but okay anyways let's get to the real story so i'm in class my teacher third grade i remember her name her name was miss bolden loved her still love her to this day but uh i remember we were in class and she had just got back from getting surgery on her knee so she just like chatting it up sitting down standing up because she couldn't stand up for a long period of time and she was just telling us like talking 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 and letting us know what we we're gonna do for the day and i remember we got into like a lesson a math lesson and so it was very important material that she needed us to know that's tea so let's drink so she really needed us to know this material because I think it was getting toward testing time, whatever. So boom, she just chatted up, chatting up about this new lesson that we need to be learning and stuff. I get, I don't know what the word I would use, but I get the little tingle like, oh, Naya, you got to pee. That little, that little, you got to pee, Naya. So I raised my hand, said, Miss Bowden, can I go, hold on, hold on. Miss Bowden, can I use the bathroom? She goes, oh no, this is really important material, Renaya. You can go when I'm done, but right now I have to teach a lesson to you guys, so can you please wait? I said, okay. So I want to say a good 10 minutes go by. Let's get a bite for this. A good 10 minutes. She said one second, but that turned into a whole lot. 10 minutes. I don't know. Y'all know that I sit This is how teachers be. Yeah. I can't talk right now. I'm on lunch break, but you're always welcome to come back. Anyways, boom. You know I go, boom. So. Ten, 10 minutes go by yada yada I raise my hand again at this point my leg is shaking cause when I say I have to pee I'm already having to pee so you making me wait so my leg is shaking I said Miss Bowden can I please use the bathroom I really have to go she says no Renaya I need you guys to get this information I don't need anyone saying they missed it or they don't understand I said okay I wait a good three minutes. This is the third time. You know when you about to get in the fight, your mama say, get them three chances. This is the third chance. So I raise my hand again and I'm just like, um, I have to use the bathroom. This time I'm demand, like I I know I had to attitude. My little third grade stuff. I know I had to attitude. I was like, I have to use the bathroom. I raise my hand. I don't even wait for her to call on me. I say, I have to use the bathroom. She says, no. Just like that. She says, no. And in her mind, oh, I'm going to tell you this at the end. But basically, no, I want to tell you now. Her mind, she's thinking as third graders, we just trying to get out the classroom. She thinks, which we did do a lot. We used to ask to go to the bathroom just to get out of class. But 
no i had to go for real but she was just like no she just simply said no so i remember i just sat there and i just started crying I didn't cry loud. It was just one of those silent cries, like just crying. Because I was just like, this is so embarrassing. I have to pee. I feel like I'm going to pee on myself. I'm in the third grade. I'm literally like eight, nine years old. And they're going to clown me. So I was just crying. I was just like, I have to, I have to go. And what are you doing? So I start crying. And then out of nowhere, I just feel, ooh, look, that just fit. Out of nowhere, I feel a little, a little, so that, that was the first little speck of pee. This is so embarrassing. It was the first little speck of pee. It was like, and I was like, oh shoot. So I, at this point, I'm crossing my legs, squeezing them together. And I just hit, and then I, after that little five seconds later, it was just like, rain on us. And it came out, and it kept coming out, and it wouldn't stop, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> So it was just it was just coming out and yeah. Oh sorry, the air just cut on. But it came out and it was a big pup, so I peed for like ten seconds on myself. So I'm just looking around the class crying, looking still, like oh my gosh, I just peed on myself. Does anyone notice? So then like ten seconds later after I peed, dripping all down the chair, dripping just pee dripping down the chair and if you know how chairs it's like back when i was in school in third grade it was like this little square in the back of the chair it was this square so it was literally pee dripping out the back of my butt out the chair and out the sides out the front as well so <laughs> this boy named ronald and it's so crazy because i know him to this day and in ninth grade, he remembered the exact same story and he would laugh at it. And I'd be like, bro, you remember that, bro? It was so embarrassing. So literally this teacher made me have to live with this for the rest of my life, this whole, this boy. Same class, everything. He remembered the exact same story. We would just laugh about it. But anyways, back to the story. So this boy named Ronald, he just looks and he was like, she peed. So then the teacher looks at me and this girl named Shamaya, background on Shamaya, Shamaya was this girl. Everyone used to talk about her because she constantly smelled like pee. She used to have pee stains on her skirts. And then she used to be like, oh, it's mustard. Oh, it's lemonade, babes. So we knew it was pee because we smelled it. We already knew. And her sister, her little sister, she was in like first grade. She used to snitch on her and say that she always peed in the bed. But the thing that I didn't understand was why would her mom send her to school in pee pee clothes, babes? do better but she always smelled like pee so shamaya she was sitting right next to me she was like oh, you peed and my teacher looked and she was just like oh. and that was her yeah because you didn't let me use the bathroom so yeah now you got pp carpet now you got pp carpet and now you're gonna have to call someone to come get it up so i remember she was like Renaya, you're going to have to go to the office. I said, I just shook my head. I was so embarrassed. I shook my head like, yes, okay, I already know. Like, I was like, yeah. I'm going to have to go to the office because you made me feel myself. So, um, let me remember. So after she told me I will have to go to the office, PP girl Shamaya. She was like, I'll go with her. And then Miss Bowden was like, Thank you for being a good friend, Shamaya. Yeah, thank you, Shamaya, PP girl. So anyway, so we um I remember I got up and P just was dripping down my legs. It was so embarrassing. So Shamaya, she gave me a jacket, her jacket. She gave it to me to tie around my waist so when we went to the office, no one would see. And mind you, in third grade, I was pretty known. I knew a lot of people in third grade. So it was so embarrassing to know that. And I know people had to be either talking about it and stuff because people was just laughing when I came back in class. But we're going to get back to that. 
so um I remember Shamaya gave me her jacket and then she gave us a note to go to the office and so <laughs> me and Shamaya we walked out and she was like you okay I was like yeah she was like girl it's okay she was like I've been to she said I've been here to the clinic because I got I think I got sent to the clinic so she's like I've been to the clinic plenty of times they give you panties and a new shirt I meant she said i've been to the clinic plenty of times they give you panties and a new skirt or shorts and we had uniforms so they ha only had uniforms so i was like okay and i knew she i knew she had to know about it because she was so comfortable just telling me how they just give you stuff so boom we go to the office and they ask why we're there so i tell them what happened well no shamaya told them what happened because i think i was just fed up i was just like uh so embarrassed so she told them she was like okay the lady at the front she was like okay um i'm getting two stories mixed up in my head right now because i'm gonna tell you i was gonna tell you about this referral that has nothing to do with this so she said she might back to class and they told me to go to the clinic so then the clinic person it was a woman she asked me what happened i let her know what happened she said it's okay she's like do you want to call your mom and i said yes so i called my mom boom let her know the situation she got that lady together she got miss bolden together but so i called my let her know what happened so it's boom 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 okay so the lady she gave me a plastic bag she gave me a fresh pair of underwear and a skirt another skirt so i went back and changed and I was just so embarrassed to go back to class. And I asked her, did I have to go back? And she said, yes. Mm -hmm. She made me go back to class. So, boom. I changed all that stuff. She got, she wrote me a note to go back to class. I had a bag and stuff to put my dirty clothes in that I peed in. And, um... So, I remember I walked back to class, walked in, everyone just staring at me, and they just started laughing. Not everyone, but like, the cooler people, ugh, the cool people that I used to hang with, my friends, they was laughing, Ronald was laughing at them, except for Shamaya. Shamaya used to get bullied. Who? I used to argue with that girl so much, but she was my friend that day. Mm -hmm. But, so, remember when I walked out of class? Oh my gosh, I got a mark to this day. That's so crazy. I got a mark to this day from that class because I was walking and this boy had his pistol out and stabbed me. I still got that mark, but. Mm, so, I gave Miss Bolden my note and she apologized. She said she was sorry. And I said, okay. And I sat down. And when I went my dad. But when I got home, I told my mom the situation and she went. Like any mother would do. She called the teacher. And they had a little conversation, whatever. I don't really know what went on. My mom probably remembers or might not. But uh they had a little conversation. All I know was from that day on, I promise you, I have never had a problem with Miss Bowden. Anytime I said how to use the bathroom, oh go. Anytime. And my mama told me since that day. She said, if you got to use the bathroom and the teacher doesn't let you go, you walk out. And she said, oh, after you walk out, you will need to go to the office and call me. So I said, okay, y'all, when I told y'all, I felt so special. I was so happy. She said, call her if they don't want me to go to the bathroom, any teacher. So you know what I did? I felt like a baby. I felt like a baby. I caught, well, I didn't call her because I never had an issue with that teacher would not let me go to the bathroom. Since that day on, she always let me go. It don't matter. I could have asked to go three times a day. She, I was, I was really, what's that word? I was you, taking advantage of me being able to walk out. Because anytime I felt like I got to pee a little bit or I'm just bored, can I use the bathroom? Yes. And she would let me go. So I felt special. I felt special. Mm -hmm. Now, since third grade up, <clears throat> I remember having a walkout on a teacher when this man, when I was in seventh grade, his name was Mr. Haston. Uh, I asked him to go to the bathroom. He said no, so I walked out. I didn't go to the office. I came back. And he was like, Renaya, I'm going to call your pastor. Because he knew I was Christian and he wasn't. And he knew, like, I was a, I'm still him. I was, like, really believed, like, I really believed in God and stuff, which I still do. Nothing changed, but strong believer. And I used to tell him. And I used to say, like, 
how I felt about it, but he didn't believe in God. So he's like, I'm calling you a pastor and I'm calling your mother. Let her know you walked out my class. I was like, okay, good, do it. You should let me go to the bathroom. I said I had to go. Like, I don't understand. If I tell you I have to use the bathroom, what are you telling me no for? I really have to go. I'm not one of these kids that be playing. If I have to use the bathroom, I have to go. So if they don't let me go, simply walk out. And they can call it disrespectful. If you, and it, this is teacher's favorite excuse. When when you ask to use the bathroom and they tell you no and I be like, I really have to go. They be like, well, I have to hold it all day. Okay, and that's you. Everyone's bladder is different. Like, they be like, I have to hold my, my pee all day. I'm only able to go like once, which is during lunch time. Okay, good for you. You applied to be a teacher. You knew what, com what came with being a teacher. I'm not a teacher. I'm a student. And we are not the same, sis. Like, don't compare contrast but well that's the story let me know if you want more story times i gotta remember more but that that was something that i remembered i definitely know i have a lot of stories from elementary school middle school all that so y'all believe i'm gonna be a senior that's crazy that's so weird to me. I'm about to be, I'm a senior though. We only got one more week of school. And I'm a senior. But I already passed, so I'm technically a senior. Like notification, but this video low key long. We're gonna end it right here. Hopefully I um covered everything. I don't think I left anything out. If I did, sorry. But do not forget to give this video a big like, comment, and subscribe. Follow all my social medias. The three shout-outs of the day will be right here. So shout out to you guys. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. And much love to each and every one of you. Hopefully, you guys stay tuned for more videos. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Yep. Bye guys. See you later.